Hi everyone, welcome to another food sack. Today I went down to the absolutely beautiful Stapleton BP rest stop to their Nando's to pick up their brand new, well it's not really an item but it's a, uh, a menu variation. They've, um, Nando's have joined the fake meat train and are doing something called the Great Pretender. Special request, extra hot. I got just a classic wrap. It's normally $8.95, but with the Great Pretender meat or filling, whatever, it is a dollar extra. So it's a dollar extra if you want the plant-based alternative meat, which I thought I would give a go to. Now let's have a look, tear this open. So you can get it on anything, you can get it on a burger, you can get it on a wrap, you can get it in a pitta. I'll just get stuck into it and then show you some chicken. That was mainly lettuce, hang on. Hmm. Hmm, what they've done is uh, rather than try to make it resemble chicken flesh, I think this patty resembles chicken mince, which is probably easier to do with plant-based protein. All right, this next bite is gonna be a big bit. Actually, I might even just get the patty off by itself. So there it is, it's quite rubbery. It was obviously circular and they've cut it in half for this. It still has kind of weird fleshy bits. It's quite soft and quite rubbery. It has the consistency of a wet sponge to some extent. Well, really, it has the consistency of a raw sausage. If you've ever accidentally eaten a raw sausage, it's a bit like that. I don't know if they, like, didn't cook this properly, or if it's supposed to be, like, a raw sausage. It's really like if you've had a sausage that looked cooked on the outside, but raw in the middle. It's a bit like that. The Nando's I went to, the Stapleton BP, I, I do enjoy going there, mainly because it offers a view of the magnificent street lights that have been arranged to spell out the word Gold Coast. They did that for the Commonwealth Games when that was on the Gold Coast. And it is a glorious sight, you know. Under the shadow of the Mount Stapleton Weather Observatory, you can look at the Gold Coast, lit up in streetlights. It is an amazing experience. If you ever visit Southeast Queensland, I do recommend you visit that. One other interesting fact, this is called the Great Pretender, which to my knowledge, is the very first fast food item that has been named after a Freddie Mercury documentary. Of course, we're not including the KFC Works Burger, which was named after the classic Queen album, The Works. Or maybe it was the other way around. Maybe the boys in Queen were big KFC fans. I don't know. Sound off in the comments if you know whether or not Freddie Mercury was into KFC. So I don't know, this patty by itself, it uh, is a bit weird with the tomato lettuce and aioli that uh, comes with the Nando's and the extra hot basting that I put on it. It is not bad. The taste is fine. There's nothing wrong with the taste. The texture is a bit odd. I was reading that they did spend some time learning how to caramelize the chicken or the, you know, imitation chicken. I don't think they quite got it right. 
it doesn't really, or at least this one doesn't really have a, a hardened sort of skin to like break through. It's just all soft and all kind of soggy. So I don't know, next to chicken, <clears throat> it's uh, inferior. But, you know, if you're a vegan or if you want something different, it's definitely not bad. Anyway, my go-to item at the Nando's is a quarter or half chicken, so I don't think I'll be getting this again, mainly because I don't really get that many burgers from Nando's. Yeah, it's a really, yeah, it's an odd texture. I'll be interested to see what other people think about this. <clears throat> Give it a go. See what you think. Would do well with a side of chips. I didn't get that. It's, um, it's too early for chips. So there we go. Uh, let me know in the comments if you are keen to try the Nando's Great Pretender or if you've had it already, what you thought about it. Make sure to like and subscribe, hit that little bell thing, so I don't actually know what the bell does, but other YouTubers say to, to touch the bell, so you should, you should click on that bell too, because that would benefit me in some way that I'm not entirely clear on, but do that. Cheers!